Now let's move on to the second part. Let's make product description into a table first. And then rename it as product description. Now let's go to data from table or range. It looks all right. So let's choose close and load. Now we need to merge this info into the combined sales report. So let's right click on the combined sales report query. Click edit, then choose the merge queries, merge queries as new. The second table that we want to merge is the product description. The common columns for these two table is product code. Let's highlight this as this is a connector to connect the two tables in order for them to merge together. Click OK. The merge table is shown now. So let's expand all this info. As you can see, these two columns are duplicates. So let's remove one of them. Click remove columns. Then through the table, below are the headers which we doesn't need. So let's remove them. It looks all right now. Close and load. Choose pivot table report. Okay. As you can see, the product description appears now. Let's arrange the fields. Let's format the number to make it easier to read. You know, the consolidated pivot table with product description is showing now. Alternatively, you can make it into tabular format to make it easier to read. Go to design. Let's off the subtotal. And then we choose tabular form. If you want to know the details of the dates, you can also ungroup the dates. This is because pivot table will automatically group the dates. Okay, that's all for this week. If you like the video, please share, like and subscribe to my channel.